Hey, Jake in Fort Wayne. Today, I'm super excited. This is a massive day for the city. Today, the Union Street Market is open. Uh, I've been following this project for years, and opening day is finally here. So come on, we're gonna take a little tour and check out what it has to offer. I'm so excited right now. So we're inside now. Uh, Electric Works has a rich history in the city of Fort Wayne. Um, it used to be one of the biggest employers in the city. My grandfather worked here. If you've been from Fort, if you grew up in Fort Wayne or you have family here, you've probably had someone you know that worked there. Uh, the campus went way downhill. It was run down, abandoned, pretty grody. Um, and this is going to be serving as the anchor here as we try to revive the city and revive downtown. Okay, so this place is hopping right now. Um, there's pizza places, we've got coffee. Uh, I had some street tacos earlier, they were hot fire. Um, but the idea is that there's a lot of different options. There's uh, Kiki Anga Craft Company with beer. Um, I saw some other places that were serving different liquor and wine. Um, the idea is that this is gonna be a congregation place, a meeting place for all the businesses around here. And I already kind of feel like that. I've ran into three or four people I know already. So, you know, mission accomplished so far. This place is just awesome. I'm fired up if you can't tell. As you can see, the line for Brooks Barbecue, I've actually never had Brooks, but it, I mean, it goes all the way back there, so people are coming out in full force. This Picoso Burrito Company, I had some of the steak street tacos earlier. The salsa is a little spicy, but very good. All right, so now we're in the upstairs. This is an open area where people can, I saw people working, you can eat. Uh, the train goes right by here, so that's pretty cool. Uh, right now there's 13 vendors. There's gonna be five more coming. So as you'll see, some of the spaces aren't yet occupied. So something worth knowing is that while the hours are going to be set, some of the vendors can come and go. So if you're just coming for one specific vendor, they may not be open, but luckily there's a lot of different options. So this project actually fulfills a decade-long promise to provide an indoor year-round market for the city. And if you've been to the garage in Indianapolis um, or where I lived for a while, the East End Market in Orlando, it's very similar to that. Uh, there's also going to be a grocery space as well. So in addition to the vendors, there's going to be um, some grocery and we'll go show you that. All right, well, we just checked out the East Hall. Now we're going to go see the West Hall. I'm here with Ashley and Mimi. Today we're gonna sample one of their honey products. Uh, which one are we gonna check out today? We're gonna try the uh, rum barrel honey. It's favorite. Let's do it. Oh, you even got the little comb. I like that. Rum barrel. These are work. Oh, that's so good. Yes. That is so good. So tell us a little bit about the process. Why does this taste incredible and different than any honey I've ever had? Yeah, so we take our local honey and we um, let it soak in uh, bourbon barrels, rum barrels, tequila barrels, and it really soaks in that flavor just like the alcohol would from the char inside of the oak barrels. And then we drain it. So sometimes you'll see a little black flex in there that's from the char inside the barrel. It means you're getting all of that really good flavor. And these are great just on their own. You can mix them in with your tea, your coffee, uh, put it on chicken, try it anyhow you like it. It's wonderful. And if you ever need a taste tester, I will do that for you guys, there just you so you know. All right, 
I'm here with Jesse. Jesse, tell us a little bit about what you guys have to offer here. Well, we've got uh, this fresh seafood. Uh, it's all wild caught, with the exception of, of the Atlantic salmon. Uh, it's about the freshest fish that you can get in the area. We get fresh deliveries twice a week. You know, being from a landlocked state, I'd say that's something. Yeah, definitely. Has anyone ordered the uh, alligator yet? Oh, yeah. yeah. We've had a couple of them go out the door. Caddy said she's a fan back. Yeah, good. alligator's pretty good. We've got a ton of variety as far as seafood goes. Over on the other side of the shop, we also have terrestrial meats, so like red meat, a uh, little bit of lamb, a little bit of beef. Got some pig over there. All right, well, thank you very much. All right, I'm here with Theo, also known as Fresh Laundry. I want to get a cool nickname like that, but uh, what are you working on here? So I'm currently working on the main entrance to coming in from the Union Market. The name of the piece is called Forward Synergy. We've been commissioned to come in and bring some life to it. So you have some figures here that are indicating the organizations here, you know, your Park View, your Steel Dynamic, your Amplify Lab as well too. So you have your history and your present and your future. So it's representing your onboard, um, ongoing collaborations, innovations of what we can do in the future here at Fort Wayne. As you can see, this place is bustling. The city's embracing it. I personally am so excited. Fort Wayne has needed something like this. We haven't had something that we could hang our hat on and call uniquely ours, and I think we finally have it. And I think we're gonna see the rest of Electric Works and the surrounding neighborhoods uh, continue to develop. Uh, if you like what you saw today, make sure you subscribe Jake and Fort Wayne for more videos like this. Catch you on the next one.